Today, we're here to unveil almost $60 million spent on severances by the PCs over the last three years. If you're in senior management in government, life has never been so good. In the three years from 2011 to 2014, the PCs rolled out $31 million in severance payments across government departments alone. $31 million in severance payments. Here's the record of the Prentice team on severances. Prentice's Justice Minister expensed over $6.3 million in just one year. Prentice's chief hand in government, Manmeet Bolor, rolled out $1.4 million in expenses at Service Alberta in just one year. The Department of Culture, they managed to find $1.3 million for these golden handshakes. It's shameful, but the spending binge does not stop there. It doesn't just stop in government departments. For example, Alberta Health Services, infamous for its bloated spending, has unloaded almost $28 million in severances just since 2011. In the last nine months alone, this bloated health agency has blown through $3.5 million in severance payments. This is simply unacceptable. Operatives in the back room of the PC campaign will try to tell Albertans that they've cracked down on severances. But not a single dollar of these health agency severances would be restricted under the PC party. Under the Wild Rose Plan, all severance agreements for publicly funded executives will be capped. That means all severance packages. This includes Alberta Health Services. Wild Rose MLAs will pass legislation to limit severance packages for all political staff and all senior government and agency officials and make all severance agreements transparent. We will actually find savings in extravagant executive pay, perks, severance, and wasteful bureaucracy and redirect this money to where it matters most to Albertans, to the frontline services that they depend on in Alberta Health Services and other places in the government. For Albertans, there is only one voice that will stand up for transparency and accountability on May 5th. There is only one party that will protect taxpayers, keep taxes low, and focus on bringing Alberta back to prosperity. There is only one party that stands between Albertans and much higher taxes, and that party is the Wild Rose Party of Alberta. Thank you very much. I'm happy to answer your questions. <laughs>